Hello and welcome by AAA's art channel. My name is Elkan Wiersma and uh, today I'd like to show you how uh, to, to uh, yeah, I'd like to show you and to tell you how I learned color mixing quite easy and quite uh, quick. Because um, yeah, I'm not a, a much of a reader, so I know there are a lot of books about color theory and um, how to mix your colors and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, those are not uh, my kind of things to go because I don't like uh, reading books. So therefore, I uh, uh, looked up uh, quite some tutorials about color mixing on YouTube, and I found two of them. Uh, for me were uh, quite helpful and I'm just combining those two and so basically make my own of it but uh, the first one is a Will Stoller he is uh, using the pixeler.com program and um, I'm also using that program in this tutorial and the second one is Jason Morgan he is using those plastic sheets and I will the sheets you can uh, look th uh, through quite easily you can see the deer here and um, yeah, the, the, those are very cheap. Uh, these sheets you can use to laminate some uh, paper uh, in, in them. And I have the matte version and you want to go with the clear version or the gloss version. I don't know how to call them, but um, this is one is a little bit matte. So uh, I cannot see the colors as easily as I would uh, when I have a clear sheet. But I bought the wrong ones. But these one, this ones work for me because I uh, have done this uh, a lot of times now. So. I know uh, what to look for when I'm color mixing, but if you do this for the first time, I really recommend getting those clear sheets because they are a little bit easier to watch your colors underneath that sheet and when you're applying the paint to it, to that sheet. And that doesn't make sense now, but if you watch this tutorial, it will. And yeah, I have a paintbrush in my hands. I don't know why, but I like to hold something in my hands when I'm talking. So therefore I have the paintbrush. But um, yeah, like I said, I, this is a very uh, useful method. Um, our methods because I, uh, uh, I combine this one and I make it my own and I learn quite quickly to uh, color uh, to mix the colors to mix the right colors and I hope I did a good job to explaining you to uh, this today in uh, by taking little steps and um, yeah to, by explaining it's a little bit longer video but I hope you like it and uh, if you try this method, please let me know in a video of in the comments below. And I also will have the link of pixeler.com in this video description. So to make it a little bit easier for you guys to find it. And this uh, tutorial is way too long. So let's start uh, mixing some paint. So and now we are at my computer and this is my desktop with my tiger painting. And I'm going to the internet and you will uh, look for pixeler.com. Pixeler it's a free website, a photo design website of a uh, pixeler editor. It's an editor program and it's very useful for picking up colors. And I will show you how I do that. Here it says um, to get a picture of to open up a picture from your computer. And I'm going to get a reference photo because there are the right colors in it I'm gonna zoom in a bit and you can adjust your screen here and I'm going for this area but I want to pick up some colors here and some colors here so what I do is I'm going for this color picker tool and I'm gonna click that so I select that and now I have the color picker tool and I know that I want to know a bit more about the color which I'm seeing here so I'm gonna click on that and that color will show up here and um, to let it off to to uh, save that color I'm going to the pencil tool that one is here and I'm going to adjust my pencil size here of the shape of the pencil and it's on 41 already and I'm going to this side and now I'm clicking and this is the color I just picked up so what I did is I'm go I did go to the color picker tool picked up my color go, go to the brush tool adjust my brush sizes and then because it's the color was selected here and you could check your selected color here and then I clicked with the pencil tool and I selected the color so I now have my first color I now know where to go with the mixing of my colors but I need to know more because there are more um, different uh, lighter and darker colors in his coat so I have to look up a little bit more of those colors I'm going to go for this brownish color and it shows up in my screen so I selected the right color now I'm going again to my 
brush tool it's the right setting for me i'm going to zoom out a little bit and i'm going to click that color on there now you see it what kind of brown color i need and this brown color i already been have been using in the fur but now i'm sure that it's the right range of color and i will i have to mix in a more did this, this um yeah almost a ready green brownish color because i think there are is more of this color on his coat i'm going to pick a much lighter color it's almost a uh, yeah creamy orangey color i'm sorry for for my words but i don't know how to describe this color better but you can see it's in the same color range it's just a bit lighter and it lo almost looks a little bit pe uh, uh, peach color in there and yeah i would say peach but it's a peach color so i have three colors now where i can build up from and that's those colors are in this area when I first saw the photo, I thought I needed a little bit more yellow for this area. But I'm going to check if I am right. And probably I'm not right. No, I'm not right. Because there is not a lot of uh, yellow in there. And I know the, most of the times it isn't yellow. But I thought it would be a little bit more yellowish. yellowish but it isn't. And I'm going to click there. So I just did the same color pick tool. I had my, uh, if I selected my brush tool. Uh, the settings were just the same and this is basically the same color as in this uh, range but it's just a little bit lighter so now i know i need to start with this color i can adjust the colors and build up from there and i have uh, uh, quite easily the nice different um, values in this this color range so now i have to um, to save this image, I'm sorry, I was just looking for the words there, but to save this image, and I do go to files, and I'm going to save this, and I'm going to adjust the name of this, because otherwise I will be uh, losing my original reference photo, and we don't want to do that, of course, so I'm going to call this palette, palette deer. Here. So I know now what I mean by that because I have the colors there. So I'm going to save this just again on my desktop so I can find it quite easily. And this is the photo I will be using for uh, this tutorial to mix my colors. Normally I have this up on my screen next to my easel, but that didn't show up uh, nicely uh, on my camera. So therefore I uh, printed this out and I lay it down on uh, a table next to my palette so I can uh, easily show you um, how close I am with my mixed colors. So for this tutorial I will be using the colors Raw Umber, Burn Sienna, red oxide and those two colors are a, a brown color with a little bit of red in it and also the titanium white and hocus green and you might think why i would use the hocus green well i didn't mention that in my intro but i like to use this color wheel i don't know if you have heard of it but it's a very useful tool to have when you're painting or drawing and you're working with colors because you may up uh, when you're mixing colors you may up endings to uh, to have to tone down some colors and therefore if this color wheel is very useful because because i have those reddish browns here which i will be using and uh, to know to, to how to tone them down i have to look to my on my color wheel and i here i, I see the red or this and because it's a uh, red in that brown i'm going to the red and i'm going to the opposite color of red and that is green so that's why i have the hocus green here so i can tone down that red and that brown if i need to so that's uh, why this color wheel is very handy and there are more functions on it but i will not discuss that them now but this is a very handy tool so if you don't have it i suggest you should buy it because it's so helpful for mixing colors so that said i'm done now we go to my palette and I'm going to get rid of the paint now, make a little bit more room. And here I have the palette, raw umber, burnt sienna, red oxide, unblitzed white and the hocus green. So I have printed out my color example and this is a uh, these are the colors of the deer. I put them in here, the same as you saw me uh, 
picking up with a color tool uh, early on in this tutorial. I'm laying down that that plastic, that sheet on it so I can test my t uh, paint on it and I will do that in a moment. But first I have to uh, mix my colors. So I see that this brown is a, has a little bit of red in it and it's lighter than the uh, raw umber. So I'm going to take a bit of a raw umber, laying it down here and have to wetten it a bit. And like I said, there's more red in it, so I'm going to use the red oxide. The red oxide appears a little bit stronger than a burnt sienna. There's more red in it, but so I have don't have to use a much uh, of the red oxide because it shows up uh, quite well, and I hope you can see it on the on the camera on the screen. And um, yes, now I have those that nice reddish brown color, so I can test it in how close I am by laying it on top of that plastic sheet. So I have that sheet there and I'm laying that down there and you can see it's um, in the right color range. It, it uh, looks like that color underneath on the, from the deer but it's a little bit too dark. So therefore I am grabbing my unbleached titanium white a little bit and I'm mixing that in with my previous color and uh, mixed color I should say. And now I'm coming back because I have lightened it up quite a bit and I will show how it looks now and you can hopefully see that there are there are not much difference between the co to those two colors I'm very close but I, I need to tone it down uh, just a little bit so therefore I'm using a little bit of the green a little bit more I think and I'm mixing in that green tone it down a bit because it was a little too harsh and here we go again I'm going to slide those colors away so I can start over and now you can see that it is a bit too dark still it looks but it is a bit too dark so I'm picking up a little bit more of that unbleached titanium white mixing that in again to lighten my color and I'm going to show again. And now it is in the white, uh, same hue, but I have to make it a little bit more red. So I had uh, probably a little bit uh, too much green in it, so I toned it down just a bit too hard, too, too much. So I'm picking up a little bit of the red oxide burnt sienna to make it a little bit more red again. I can use a little bit more. And here we go. This should be the right color. And I hope you can see this. It is basically the same color as here, but it's still a little bit too dark. Whoops, I did it on the paper. <laughs> but it's still, uh, still a little bit too dark, so I'm going to get a little bit more titanium white and make it a little bit lighter. <laughs> Very close, but not close enough. So I'm going to go again. And here we are. I hope you can see this. Those colors are pretty much the same now. So I came from this dark color, mixed in a little bit green on bleached titanium white, mixed uh, a, a bit titanium white again because it uh, was losing its, uh, its lightness. It was uh, a bit too dark again, and I was also losing that reddish, uh, that reddish brown color. So I put in a um, bit of uh, uh, red oxide, I'm sorry, red oxide and burnt sienna and also a bit of unbleached thin white and now I am where I want it to be. So this one's looking also pretty much the same but this one is a bit darker. It's the same color view but I need to lighten that up just a bit to get that color. So what I will do is grabbing a bit of unbleached thin white again I have to pick up a little bit of water to get it more mixed in. And now I'm going to test these colors. And I hope you can see that, but it's pretty much the same color again. So now I have the first color, the second color, and now I need that really light, almost creamy color. And therefore, uh, uh, the omelette white is basically is that color, but it's a little bit 
browner I think. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of unglycetane white and I'm mixing that with the paint uh, which is still on my paintbrush. So I don't have too much paint on that on it that, that from the brownish color. I'm just building this up and I need to be a bit lighter there. I think it's a bit too dark still. Yes, it is. So I have to clean up my brush. And now I have, oh, I have a little bit, a little bit paint on there still. That's gone now. And I'm picking up a little bit of that unbleached satin white again. And just mixing in a little bit of that brown color. And I think this should do it, the trick and it's still a bit too brownish so I'm going to adjust a little bit more of the titanium white and I think yes here it is I hope you can see that it may appear a, a bit darker on the screen because of the daylight lamps and I should be able to use it uh, like this if I would lighten it up quite a bit more I just have to introduce the titanium white which is, which is this one and I will put it in here to get that nice uh, uh, even lighter color than the uh, titanium white because it's a little bit lighter so this should do the trick and here we are so I thought I had to use those four colors, or five I should say, the raw umber, burnt sienna, red oxide, unbleached titanium white and that green. But I also introduced a little bit of titanium white because I couldn't get the highlight because the uh, uh, light enough because the unbleached titanium white is a bit too dark for this highlight. So therefore I introduced just a little bit of titanium white to hype up uh, the color to make it lighter and now I have the uh, right colors. So this is my highlight, this is my second color, this is this one, and my darkest color is here. And that is basically it. So I think it now, because I'm filming this, it cost me a few minutes, but normally I think maybe one minute, maybe two, and I have the right colors. And I can paint uh, again, I can paint along. <laughs> so that is it. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you like this tutorial, uh, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram and uh, my own website. And also, if you like this video or my other videos, please subscribe to my channel. I would really like that. And for now, I hope to see you at my next video. Bye bye.